All right, so for this effect, we can actually just take an image, and it doesn't matter whether it is a rasterized image or it's a smart object. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it as a smart object. You can tell because there is the little icon at the bottom right corner here. I made a letter C. You can make whatever you like. You could even use a vector image if you like, or a shape tool, shape, icons of some sort to bring inside of here, and you will create a clipping mask based off of that. So I have the image here. I simply take the letter C below it, and this is a letter C that is still text, so I could manipulate it later. What I end up doing is I'll select the image above it, come up here to Layers, and I'll come down to Create Clipping Mask, or alt Control g What happens is that it creates a clipping mask. All of my information is still there from the image, and I have the letter C right here. Okay? So one way of working with this is that it's still a letter, so if I take my text tool, I can come up here, click on it, and double click the C so I can work with it. I'll tap the right arrow until I get there, and I'll type in copy. And in this case, I could you know, make it smaller, or just move it apparently. There we go. I can have it go off the page, but it's going to be a little bit smaller when it comes to. So there's the cup right there. I can take the layer that contains the image on it and drag that down to the create new layer icon. When I release it, I have a duplicate. All I have to do is simply pull that duplicate out. So I'll drag that layer out. I'll put it below everything. And we'll see that I have both of them there. And if I take this and scale it, then it would work perfect for me. So you can see exactly what's happening with that coffee. And I, I took the image and scaled it, but let me take the them both. I'll select both of them by holding down shift and clicking on them both. And I can scale them just a tiny bit so you can see that we can actually start getting that effect. I'll make it a little bit larger and then I'll place it. You can make it smaller as well, whatever you whatever you like. I'll hit enter to say that I'm done scaling it. And what I'll do is add a layer style to these. So I could take the coffee, the little lettering here, and if I double click in the gray, or I can come down to effects, I can add layer styles, which are considered effects. So you'll see the little effects sign right here. I click on drop shadow in this case. And I'm adding a drop shadow just to let the lettering stand out a little bit better. Okay? And it also adds almost a glass like feel to it. So the lights and darks of glass can be emulated in something like this. I'll hit OK in this case. I did put the opacity to 70. I think the default was 35. I didn't really change anything else. The blend mode is still multiply. The opacity is 70. That's fine. I'll hit OK. And the layer below it is basically the original. So if I hide these two, there's the original layer. I'll click and drag them with my left mouse button to rebuild them. And I have this layer here, which I could do, you know, an adjustment layer. So adjustments are up here, unless you need to find them through window down to adjustments that will reveal them. And I could just do something like, I don't know, hue and saturation is fine. I could go to levels. I could rasterize it and then I'd have more of those other options available for me. So I'll click the lightness and you could go either up with it, get that washed out effect, or you go down with it. That's where you're gonna get that little darker to lighter effect. Like that, okay? And it's as simple as that. Now let's do another little example. I'll hide those ones, all right? I have this other image showing and I have the human saturation on it. I'll just hide that for the moment. If I have this image here, I can actually go up to my, where the rectangle tool is, below there is custom shapes tool. And you're gonna see that my panel at the top here will allow me to drop this down and I have a bunch of different things here, okay? Now the one that's loaded is a tree. So if I just drop down this, you'll see I have a bunch of different trees here. I can go with this one or if I like maybe something like this, I can click and drag and as I drag, it's bringing on an image, okay? Now this thing is 
pretty much like a vector. So if you bring a vector in here, it can work the same way. If I drop it below that layer, not into a group, I'll just bring the layer above it because for some reason it doesn't want to show it. Then what I can do is do the same thing basically. I'll select the image, go up to layer, and I'll go down to create clipping mask. And there we go. We get this really awesome look. If I were to duplicate that image again, and then rip the duplicate off, the duplicate off, and drag it below all of my layers here. I may need to drag my other layers up because it's not liking me to put it down there at the very bottom. So what I'll do is I'll just take these and drag them up. I need to select both of them together. So I'll shift click on these. I just did control Z to edit and do that. Shift click these, drag them to the top, right above that layer there. And you'll see now if I were to take this layer, double click it, and add a drop shadow. You don't need to add a drop shadow. It's just going to let it stand out a little better in some cases. I'll hit OK. And then if I take my bottom layer here, and I do an adjustment. That's my child. He's chiming in. That's right, son. There we go. So I'll bring this thing down. And I'll get that washout effect. I mean, sorry, the darkened effect. It's where the top is a little bit lighter than the other. And you'll see that I can go real drastic with, with this. So it's really going to be the look that you're going for. You know, that you might want to play with this. If I go lighter, is it going to look any better? The lighter's kind of cool. And obviously, we can go too bright. So play around with it. Try to get some ideas. See what you can do. Very nice. So this is kind of what I'm coming to. I'm not really too worried. I don't know if I like the darker or lighter at this moment. Maybe the subtlety of this is pretty nice. I don't know. Play with these layers. Play with the, the colors of things. I mean, you could shift the colors, right? And see if you like any of that. Wow, we're getting really artsy now. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, play with this. Make it yours. Have fun, above all.